Welcome back to Vampire Survivors Never Move Once. The rules are simple, we are not allowed to move. We are starting with Awake because we can't expect to get another Arcana. And while there are some others that I may have preferred, like Bloodline Arcana, I think it's just way too overpowered and makes it boring. Oh, the Empty Tome is huge. But I will definitely lose a Revival here. Yeah. It's not great, but I think it will be fine. It's worth the payoff to have such a ridiculously good item. Now, what we need here is... Oh. Um, that probably also works. It's not as good as the garlic, but it's definitely helpful. Yeah. Okay. Let's roll. Oh, come on. Please give me the garlic. Please give me the garlic. Um, let's go for the King Bible. I think that will be fine to keep away the enemies. Early on, the most important part is stay alive. Later on, the most important part is stay alive. So nothing changes there. Now, as I talked about, the Bloodline Arcana would have been absolutely bonkers. And that's why I banished it from my challenges, the Never Move Once challenges. I just think it makes it ridiculously easy. All you need is build up a ton of HP, die once, you recover half of the HP that you had, the max HP, and it becomes near impossible to lose at this point. And even if you get attacked, then the Bloodline Arcana will just kill the enemies, you know? That makes it a little bit too ridiculous. I think as a last resort, it's fine. If you have an absolutely ridiculously bad character, but aside from this, it should really not be used. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about myself. Now, there are two things that I need right now really badly. Number one, we need the Attract Orb. Because once we see a red gem generate up here, it's game over. The enemies don't drop experience anymore at that point, and that was it. This usually happens between 1000 and 1200 kills, depending on how much experience you've gotten. <sighs> Restart. I want to mix it up a little bit today. We will go for Mad Groove. Usually, I don't go for that. There is one benefit, which, did you see that? We just got the experience gem. Aside from this, it said... Oh. Oh. I will go for the garlic, but I have a feeling I'll regret this. That I didn't go for... Well, garlic level 2. That is perfect. No, I'm happy. Yeah, but I have to go for the track orb. Now, the thing is, with the Mad Groove, you don't have to go for Pentagram. However, if you still build up too much experience and you don't get any experience until Mad Groove goes off again, is it really worth it? Let's just see what happens, okay? Whee! Definitely a huge upside was already the beginning. Wait, that is ridiculous. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the beginning was already a huge upside. Do I banish Vento Sacro here? I feel like I should, but I also feel like I shouldn't. Let's just keep going. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go. More garlic or La Roba. Why do I get so many rare things? Um, I've never used La Roba to be fair. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's go crazy in this video. This character per level up gains 0.5% might speed duration area. That means, uh, y yeah, this can eventually turn bonkers. And now that we have Mad Groove and nothing can possibly go wrong anymore except for me dying, I think... Let's just take all the stuff that I usually wouldn't take. A ton of the people enjoyed the last video a lot, where I just went out of the usual line of doing things and just see how far can we stretch it before we just die, you know? Now, the big problem here is, how will we actually kill the bosses? Yeah, we need magic wand or something for sure. That's a given. And Vento Sacro, very good. I mean, so far it's going good. The nice part about the La Roba is, Oh, the magic one. Magic one is still the top tier. I have to take that. But the nice part about the La, La Roba is, do you see how it just keeps falling down? It takes such a long time until it disappears, and it's based on its duration. So it just keeps bouncing all the time. Which, if you think about it, is probably one of the best ways to just protect yourself. Like, get the duration up a little bit, and this keeps bouncing and bouncing and bouncing, but we don't even need that. Look at it. It falls through the enemies. It just clears all of them for me. And in 20 seconds, I will get... Well, they just fell through. <laughs> That's not so great. But yeah, in 20 seconds, we will get all the experience around me. Maybe even the items, but I think they are too far away, right? I may have to bump up the tracked orb. Oh, I didn't consider that. What happens if I don't have enough range to pull this in? When it pulls everything in? Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, we got a decent amount, but honestly not that much. I would like to have a little bit more. Do we want to go for King Bible? I don't feel it. I really don't feel it. But, um, yeah, this doesn't look all too good. 
I have a feeling that very soon the experience is maxed out again. So, yeah. As you have noticed when Mad Groove goes off, I get partial amounts of what's in there. So, it's never over. We can always continue, but I definitely need more Attract Orb. Whip them harder, lady. There is nothing that I want. No, I don't think so. Let's go for Bracelet. Why would I ever want to go for Bracelet? Huh. Well, I don't. But I could. It's horrible. But it could be fun. Oh no, I totally forgot you need two chests to evolve it. Do we want to go for Skullomaniac? Just for fun? Eh, sure. But why not? Let's do it. Let's just see what we can achieve here. The more we kill, the more experience we get. Hey, that sounds good to me. But I definitely need more Attract Orb now, please. Oh my god, just a little bit and we get the vacuum. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, that was amazing. I think the last weapon that I want to have is the Victory Sword. Because even if a boss tickles us, we still get to knock him back. This kind of looks hilarious. <laughs> and that is the max range that we can expect from the future. Does it look good? I would say it's fine. Um, let's get the magic wand up a little bit. Yeah, I'm concerned about the boss that is about to appear. And I wonder how much damage La Roba actually deals to the boss. Like, if it can just go boom, 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 boom on top of the boss or not. Also, does it apply knockback? Let's check this out. Do you get knockback? Yes! Well, very slightly, but I think that's enough if he's here. Victory sword! Oh, knockback! That is so good, look at this, look at this. No, no! No, 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 Um, oh. Maybe the victory sword was not great. Well, the magic wand would have done the same, to just push away the enemy. Yeah. No, well... We can kill him on top of us, but it's... Yeah, that was way too luck-reliant. Nah, let's just see what happens. What do we want to have here? Duplicator is... One, two, three, four. Sounds good. That's a very good deal. Again, keep in mind that our character has natural stat growths. So everything like spinach, can Labrador, they are slightly worse. Though, to be fair... It will help us grow a lot if we go for that. At least a spinach, right? Or you know what? I want to go for something completely different. I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but I have something reserved here. Oh my god, all the experience flying in. This is beautiful. Ah, uh, we will collect the freeze here. We will also get the NFT. Wait, that is ridiculous. Hold on a moment. So, if we pull in everything, then we actually have a chance to chat. No, we don't. I wanted to say we have a chance at a 25 minute mark to kill the boss with that, but it's a 25 minute mark, right? And these happen every 2 minutes. Unless we have an NFT going for a minute. <laughs> uh, that will not happen. And uh, more Laurel, Armor. Armor would have also been interesting. But no, I have something in my mind that I want to have here. And I hope it shows up very soon. I guess I can just use my rules and hope that I get it, since we will not get an Arcana, we can forget about that. So let's get the duplicator here, one item is taken out of the pool, how many are close to being maxed out? None. Maybe the Ventus Sacro. But that means I will just use the rules here and hope that I get the item, because we would benefit a lot from it if we get it right now. Ah, uh, there we go, yeah, there's nothing that I want, roll, roll. We didn't get it. At least we got the empty tome. That is also helpful. Come on. Bounce, 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 baby. Honestly, this series here has been so much fun to just go from, oh my god, we can't win at all on zero curse unless we get the bone into, oh yeah, hey, we have here 50% bonus curse. Maybe we will even go for Taruna. <laughs> I'll check out how it goes with the bosses, you know, if I can kill them and deal with them or not. But if I can deal with them, I'll just go for the bonus curse. Why shouldn't I? Oh, but the garlic is a majority of my damage, right? That could be a problem if I go for too much curse then. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the La Roba can carry me? Hopeful thinking. You know? <laughs> it should be fine. Let's see what happens at 6 minutes. And at 6 minutes we also get all the experience here. Oh my god, perfect. Yeah, but at 6 minutes the first tanks come in and that will give us a preview of what it will look like in the future. When future even more tanky enemies come in. And I hope it's not too bad, because otherwise I don't know what to do, you gotta be honest. There we go. Oh, oh, I wanted to say we could have started with, um, what is it called? Wicked Season to double the curse, to double the growth and everything. But then we couldn't have started with the Mad Groove. And I kind of like the start. It's not great. Don't get me wrong. If you're scared of losing to the 25 minute boss, 
it will do nothing. The only thing that it helps is that your game doesn't finish, right? You can just keep going. But if you are scared about a certain enemy, then this won't help you at all to just keep going. You will just face the boss more often, but then you will still die all the time because you're not stronger, you know? So, uh, not that great. You know what we could have done? Don't max out a tracked orb, like only until level 4, where we couldn't pick up everything yet. And then, when the 25 minute boss is there, we look for a tracked orb, like hard roll for it. And max it out. Though, I do believe at that point we are already maxed out, so that won't work. Yeah, but it could have been funny. And then just collect all the items at once. The Laroba is just bouncing around like crazy, I love it. Oh, wow. Gotta be honest, it feels really good to just have a build where it doesn't matter what will happen in the future. Like, you know you can always keep going. The only times it will be bad, I mentioned this, is when we have super farm waves and they die super far out. And then we don't get experience drops anymore. Now, to be fair, they are still in the red gems. Wait, they are still in the red gems? Wait, they are still in the red gems? Because they get accumulated in a red gem, we don't lose experience. Yes, it will be delayed, but we don't lose it. In the past, this was a problem because Pentagram, we relied on it wiping out all the experience, including the red gem. So it was lost, but here it's not lost. Oh, that is great. Oh no, that, okay, that, it doesn't matter if we get a red gem. So even minute 7 seems to be no problem for us. The La Robba is definitely pulling its weight. I think that is the only reason why it's going so well right now. Uh, more Taruna, more garlic. I think I'll go for the garlic a little bit more range so the enemies get hit earlier. And get the knockback reduction applied to them. As in their knockback resistance is reduced. Yeah, sounds good. Oh my god. I should have went for some area maybe. Bigger furniture is always good, and look at this. Oh, beautiful. There's another boss. I would love to just turn down, uh, but it doesn't work. What I did try once was that we go for something like 1000 edge, and I would mod the movement speed of the character to zero, meaning negative 100%, because that's when it's at zero since it's just a bonus. But it didn't work. You can't turn if you don't move in the game, which is really weird. Like, if you have no movement speed, you can't turn around. Like, why? But that way, we could have been a stationary Gatling gun with 1000 edge, and it would have been hilarious. Maybe... And that's a very big maybe. One day I will do a no movement challenge where I will go for something like Thousand Edge and all the directional things and I will give myself like 0.0000000001 movement speed, you know. So yes, we have something to turn, but it, it, it will not move us at all unless we do it for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And there we go. That is what I was looking for. More enemies means more experience with crown to get even more experience. Let's see how this works out. I'm a little bit concerned. I, I have no idea if we will win this, by the way. Like, I have no plan in mind or so. I just hope that with the stat growth the character has, we will outvalue the growth of the enemies. And we also need to be protected. That is even more important. Like, keep that in mind. Just because we are powerful enough to kill them eventually doesn't mean that it's fine if they hit me and break my shield and kill me. Yeah, so this is the point. Somewhere on the screen, we don't know where, is a red gem. That's why the enemies are not dropping a single tad bit of experience anymore, as you can see. It's not moving up. You also don't hear the ding 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 sound. And yeah, there's nothing. But at 10 minutes, we will pull in everything and still get it. That will be a decent level up. I would say maybe three to five levels here. We are not killing that many enemies, so I don't think it's all too much, but it should still be a decent amount. Let's see. And crown, very good. That is one level. Wahaha. Two levels, three levels, four levels, five levels, six levels, seven levels. What? Eight levels? Nine levels? That was a lot. Yeah, 43 to 52. Not bad. Now, one thing I notice is the bosses are not getting to us. Uh, we can forget about this. I think it's a La Robot just pushing them away like crazy. Also, the Victory Sword is not helping. The Magic Wand is not helping. All of them are quite crazy. But um, it's going quite well, I would say. Our level is ridiculously high. I think we had some no movement challenges where this was our ending level. Or maybe at 70. I'm uh, Toruna. I'm a little bit scared to just max this out like that. <laughs> like, 100% bonus curse is a big one. Because we get to the point where the tanky enemies come in. These are also tanky enemies, but it's not a big deal. They don't deal a lot of damage. But, um, yeah, do you see that? What happens when they are tankier? 
our weapons don't really get through. La Roba is level 1 dex. You dingus. Upgrade the goddamn weapon. Yes, yes, yes. I will do that. Don't worry about it, guys. I will upgrade it to the max. Okay, where's La Roba? Uh, this is not helping. I think what I have to do is max out garlic. The top slot is usually the first weapon that you have. There's a luck chance that you get something offer that you already own and if that happens, for some reason it seems to be the first weapon slot that is available most of the time. Not always, but most of the time. So now we should see La Robber all the time in comparison. It should be noticeable, otherwise I'm just wrong. Okay, let's see, is there La Robber? Is there La Robber in the very first slot? Would you look at this? And it lasts longer now, 0 0.3 seconds. Look at this. One more projectile, lasts longer. Maybe should have went for the spellbinder, but again, keep in mind, we are growing in duration. Do you see that? It just goes up naturally. And 10 seconds until we get all the experience. I'm not getting a lot right now. I don't know. Oh my god, look at our kill amounts. We are killing so many enemies. What? What? Um, okay. Is that because of the curse or is it just because we are insane? Uh, La Roba. I have to be careful when I click on weapons. It can happen that the game pulls you. So I will try to go over to WASD. Now if that happens, I don't consider the challenge over. That's just me doing a very, very stupid mistake that should not even be possible. Oh, uh, the bat didn't give a chest. But it's fine, we got the experience either way. But yeah, there we go. More La Roba or do I want to go for Torona here? Let's just max out the La Roba because it's a thing that keeps me alive. And once we are done with that, we'll go for the bonus curse. There is another farming wave. Oh, uh, when is that? Is that this one here? No way, right? That should be a different one. Uh, but I don't know which one. Good question. Yeah. And even more La Robber. Damage up by 10. How much damage is it dealing right now? 70? No, that is a huge difference. Isn't it kind of ridiculous how powerful the weapon actually is? And here's a little fun fact. When the entire gold farming thing, especially with Trouser started, because Trouser can choose the starting weapon, La Roba was, and probably still is, one of the top contenders for the best weapons. Uh, there were a few more, but without Queen Sigma that later went just for Center Water or Lightning Ring, usually it's Lightning Ring that is considered the best weapon for that because you don't need to evolve it. And evolving is actually really late and annoying. Uh, but yeah, La Roba was pretty much for a majority of the time a top contender for the best weapon, alongside with Lightning Ring and Santa Water. And the funny part was, when you were on Reddit and someone was asking for advice and you told them to take La Roba, then a lot of people just laughed at it and thought that was a joke and called it a meme weapon. But no, it became so big and it's around the screen for such a long time that it was just ridiculously powerful once you have a couple of eggs going. Another one that I should mention is Garlic. Yeah, these four weapons pretty much. They dominated the testing scene, which one is the best one, and it constantly jumped around between who is the favorite. I think the main reason for that is that depending on how many eggs you had and what stats, it was just different. But are you ready? 100% bonus curse. Let's get this maxed out. Let's get the sword up. I definitely want to make sure that we have enough victory sword cooldown. Like every level up here after this one will be 0 0.25, I think, seconds reduced cooldown. And that is huge. Let's keep going, Sia Sunta. There we go. Yeah, it's 0 0.25. It looks like 0 0.3 because of rounding, but it's 0 0.25. There we go. Oh my god. Am I the only one who thinks this is ridiculous? Like how defensive I used to be in the past and secure on what I do. I mean, to be fair, I think if you want to make sure that you win, then you shouldn't go for this here. Now, if you want to make sure that you have a ton of fun, then this is a lot more fun. Will we kill the boss at 25 minutes? I have no idea. We don't have Teragisu, so we don't have bonus revivals. We do have a wake, which means we have a ton of time to kill the boss. And we will be incredibly powerful. The main reason why I switch it up here is because of the passive growth this character has. So on some other characters I wouldn't have done that. And oh my god, do you see that already? Ouch. Oh wow, they're getting really far. Uh-oh. Um, 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 these are really weak. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Like, at 16 minutes the witches come in and they deal a ton of damage. And they are really tanky. They have set HP, so it's not scaling with our level. That means regardless of what's going on, they are always incredibly powerful. And how much curse do we have again? 210% in a no movement challenge, where I can't move away. Um, with this speed on them. <laughs> Good luck, guys. 
However, one thing that we should consider is, at 16 minutes, we will pull in everything, including the stage items. Maybe we get an NFT. That would be great. Maybe a rosary, just to break up the chain of them spawning. There was a rosary and a freeze. Dude, I'm happy. That is amazing. Can we max this out? Please, please, just a little bit more. If we now get a chest, we have a holy wand. Perfect. And you know what? Uh, okay, the peers, I'll take that. But you know what? Let's just do random always. Did you see how many level ups we just got? We had 95 at 16 minutes. Look at the look at the Larova going crazy. When did that happen? Did it get bonus amount or so? Wow. But do we survive? Do we survive, Larova? Do we survive? We survive. We we easily survive. Um. Uh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that is amazing for now. The next one that is really concerning is minute 22, 23, 24. At least I believe that was the case. It's where the witches on the broom start spawning. And they are the next issue. However, they also take a lot of knockback. Like, do you see the enemies at the back here flying away? That's the ones from the frontier getting pushed away. And we don't really get to kill them. Though, look at our kill counter. We still get a ton of kills, so that's good. Yeah, no, I would say we have this in the bag until 22 minutes. And then we see what changes. Now, this wave here is the same wave as prior. Except it's easier because the green blobbles, they don't do anything. They just die. And, yeah, well, that is, <laughs> that is chill. We just gotta wait until 18 minutes until the mad groove pulls in all the experience again. Maybe the... We don't have a wake. Oh my god, I was talking about having a wake, but we don't have a wake. If this goes wrong, it goes wrong, we will die. Well, I have one revival, but that's not a lot. Oh, I should have taken Turagisu, but for what? Duplicator? No, I think the duplicator was important. And there we go. Oh, 103. Everything is becoming bigger. Look at our stats. 96% area, reversed nice. That is amazing. Everything is becoming bigger. Bigger, better, stronger. Yes, go. <laughs> I just read the comments on the potato video. Uh, for the people only watching Vampire Survivors, a quick reference to understand. There's a character in the game. He collects like a ton of material. That is a resource in the game to buy weapons, okay? It's not like Vampire Survivors where you level up and get the weapons that way. You gain material, like the experience points here, and with that, you buy weapons. And that character loses all of the material at the start of the round, but you get like a buttload per round, so you just have to spend it, right? It's easy. Just spend all the money. And what did I do? I got an item... Uh oh careful there, careful there, careful there. Um, no, we are fine. Yeah, okay, easy. We got an item that gives me 20% of the material as bonus material at the start of the round. And my brain was overwritten to forget that we lose everything. And I only considered saving up as much as possible. And I didn't realize that I lost all the material. Now before you say, didn't you see that it's at zero? It's obvious. Well, let's say we had 1000 material. And the piggy bank, that's the item's name, what it's called. It gives you 20%. Then you would start the round still with 200. So you lost the 1000, but from the piggy bank you still got the 20% and that's why I didn't notice it. But I obviously should have noticed that instead of having 1000 that I went down to 200, but I didn't. I focused too much on the game, it was 4am in the morning and now I'm reading the comments. And um, yeah, I honestly didn't want to upload the video at all, I, I decided against it. Then I thought about it for a very long time and the video was still amazing, you know. It was an amazing run all in all. And I think it's even more impressive how amazing it was, given how much I wasted in gold. It's the same as if I talked about how we want to save up experience here. And I have pentagram and it just blasted away, you know, and I'm constantly talking about how good that is. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the bed over there, yeah, yeah, the bed is gone. And it was obvious that will not happen. Now the boss at 20 minutes was a good signal that it's going well, but did you notice something? The only reason why we didn't take damage from him is because he got knocked back. The boss at 25 minutes takes no knockback. That means, uh, given how long he survived, I'm a little bit scared of what awaits us, but at 22 minutes, we will get a huge boost in experience. Like, look at our kill counter. It's slower than it was before, I'm pretty sure, but um, this will catapult up. I'd say we even get 15 levels here, 127. Ah, 121, okay, it's worse than I thought. Yeah, I guess the kill counter went down. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So, it's still looking good. 
The nice part about this is, La Robot just covers me, so I don't even see if something goes wrong. You know, I can always stay calm, I just sit here, I enjoy the show. This is a real idle game. I, I'm just, I'm literally doing nothing. Oh wow, even the ghost took like 5 hits or so from La Robba. And La Robba is almost doing 100 damage, that is a lot of HP that they have. Yeah, that happens when you have 210% curse. Wow. But isn't this impressive? Or is it just me who is blown away? Like, I really thought we have to be so much more defensive in general. Again, if we do this on another character that has no growth, I think it will be a lot worse. And by growth, I don't mean experience growth, I mean stat growth. But I think there it would be so much worse. Just take a look at our stats right now. We got a bonus of 61? I thought it was 62. Half of this. Ah, whatever. 61% might, 61% speed, 61% duration, 61% area. Without this, it would be a lot worse. Like, the La Roba would deal less damage, but also it would be around for a way shorter time. And while it does look good right now, imagine this was half or so. Well, it wouldn't be half, but it would be significantly less. No, this is amazing. Wow. I'm so curious about the boss at 25 minutes, if we can kill him or not. That will be such a clutch run. And the thing is, after that, it's also not over. Usually from that boss I always get the chest. I do assume we'll get it, but uh, we actually don't know if we get Victory Sword or if we get Holy Wand. It could be either of those that we can evolve right now. And then, of course, there are still strong enemies. Like, La Roba is carrying us right now, but only because it can get through. If the enemies flood us even more, like at 24 minutes, the witches, or later on with more knockback resistance, it may happen that La Roba doesn't even get through anymore, and then it can't protect me, but let's see what happens. That was... that was horrible. I got like no levels there. Oh my god, yeah, do you see what I'm talking about? Oh, that is spicy. Oh, that is really spicy. Oh wow, oh wow. The first few furnitures are not getting through. Um, okay, it's working out now, kind of. I'm getting so much experience here. Wait, what? Oh, um, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Were you concerned or what? Huh? Were you concerned? I wasn't. I knew this would happen. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Is there a way that we could survive the boss for one minute and then just, you know, get the freeze down there? Um, I don't think the boss will survive that long, but neither will we if the boss gets to us. Yeah, without knockback, this is really hard. Though, one moment, there is a way it could work. Let's just pretend the boss is tanky enough to survive that long, and it could be. Then, if we just keep hitting him with a ton of projectiles, which La Roba are, then we would wait one minute. Okay, let's check this out. So, there's the boss. Oh. Uh. Uh-huh. What? You got knockback so much we didn't even get the chest. Yes, I said the boss is knockback resistant, but every time you do a hit on an enemy with any weapon, there is a base knockback applied that is actually not really a knockback, but it interrupts the movement. So if you just do ton of hits, then the enemy can't walk anymore. Like, it does knock them back, but they get frozen where they are. And this happened to the witch. Like, the witch would be on top of us to attack us. This was not the end there. Um, wow. La Roba. What's going on with you? You are insane. That is ridiculous. Wait, that is like the most protective weapon I've ever had in my life. And it looks like a hurricane. Look at this, a tornado. Of furniture. <laughs> wow. That is impressive. And 26 minutes, how many levels do we get? I don't think that many. Yeah, that was not that much. But there we go, levels again. Oh, wow. That is so good. Oh, 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 oh. I think it's happening what I was talking about. We do make room from time to time, but you may notice at times they push in very far. And keep in mind that 29 minutes, the enemies are really big. Like, really, really big. Oh my god, my shield is breaking. I saw a green one. It, it must be yellow. That means they broke it down. Ooh. Yeah, and at 29 minutes, they are bigger, so it will be harder for the furniture to get through. Which just means it might stop at the top there. Um, okay, this is not good. Oh no, blue shield. Blue shield is the lowest one. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that to me. The oh, we. I think we needed a chest from the boss. Just to have the victory sword of wolf would be the best one by far. Since we get immunity for half of the time. Which also allows our lol to recharge. Even a holy one would have been amazing to just push away the enemies. Because it's another Gatling gun. The second Gatling gun in our build. 
Either way, it's going fine right now, but my real concern is not 28, it's 29. 28 will be the witches again, they will just get shot away, and they are not a big deal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I have done so many of these challenges, and I think this is one of the most exciting ones I've ever done. Well, uh, also not true... Like if, I would, like, if I would watch them back, then maybe yes, but you gotta keep in mind, those that I did, I don't know, six months ago, the game was completely different there. And yes, the build would be considered super boring nowadays, but back then, that was an insane build. And there were no videos on no movement challenges, like you couldn't just look that up and say, oh wow, yeah, that is exactly how it should be done. Uh, 28 minutes, that means another, let's just say five levels, let's be conservative, okay? Uh, there we go, six levels, yeah, good enough. The enemies even got frozen, which is uh, not that great, because this is the wave that gives us so much experience. Like, I would have actually really liked to have that. Uh, thank you for walking in. What is the kill counter saying? The kill counter is saying I'm dying. I just saw an enemy on top of me. Why was there an enemy on top of me? Oh, that was probably the boss that spawns here. Yeah. Now, we're getting a ton of kills. Now, the question is, do we kill the witches, or do we kill the spinach heads? Like, if we just kill the witches, they get three experience, it's like, meh. If we kill the spinach heads, that's 30 experience, 10 times as much. So I really hope that the kill count at the top is mostly from the spinach heads. In fact, we can just see that by how many enemies are around, and it's mostly spinach heads, isn't it? That means all the witches are getting killed off. Oh, Let's just see what happens, okay? At 30 minutes, we get all the experience, and we'll see how much we killed, more or less. And this is the final wave. Oh my god. Oh no, it's happening. The tornado is getting squished. Ooh, oh, ah, oh, that is, oh, oh, whoa, 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 you need some loot. Oh, you have to get in there, please. Oh, oh, that is not good. It's fine, it's fine, but, but like, this is just a build up for, it could all go wrong. Please keep going, please keep, I need a piano. Just give me a lot of pianos. I need big furniture. Slap the enemies with big furniture. We don't see if my shield is still there. I'm trying to look for it. I just hope it's still yellow at least. They can nuke me from 100 to 0 in a few hits. We do have one revival, but that's also it. What's the mirror doing? <laughs> Look at this. You idiot. I needed you over here. No, I think we got this. And because we have Laurel, we will actually level up the entire way through with the Red Death. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, okay. Last moments, last moments, last moments. There we go. Beautiful. Wow. 205 in a no movement challenge. And here, enjoy one last round of just seeing everything fly down. Lavroba, you MVP. That was amazing. Wanna take a guess what did the most damage? Huh? huh? Obviously, garlic. No, just kidding. Yeah, Lavroba. <laughs> uh, garlic did more than magic wand. Okay. Well, magic wand. <laughs> As good as always. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.